Well, here we are in the backyard of Glenn and Donna Reed. Glenn is my uncle, a native of Covina, a retired attorney, an avid model builder. Glenn has built models of buildings in Covina that are 100 years old or older. Come with me, let's go back in time. and built this called the Allison Webb building and they borrowed Mr. Bisbee's Winton uh, Roadster and they throw the ladders and the hose reel cart to the fire. It became Custer's uh, gift shop. Nine tenths of the pictures were taken by old C.W. Tucker. Did get held up by bandits once. Three guys tried to stop the big red car. They were going to rob it. They stood out in front of the tracks and the conductor just jammed the throttle forward but as fast as he could. He jumped out of the way and got him away. Actually, there's been five schools here. That little one-room schoolhouse, then the 1894 building, then the 1899 building, then the uh, 1902 high school, and then the 1919 one that I don't have a model of. It doesn't qualify. It's not 100 years old yet. Darn it! Darn it. It's such an amazing building and so easily identified. But this uh, hotel was the Vendome Hotel. Got the Kuhlman building. Technically, it's the Covina Land and Water Company building. But I made a model of the Covina Southern Pacific Station to go with the tracks. That's why I started making the models. I had the train and I needed something to go with it. So that white building is the old Carnegie Library. And if you look at the windows in back, you'll notice that there are three different sizes of windows. It's the Presbyterian Church on the corner of 2nd Street and Italia. Covina Methodist Church built in 1887. I think it was the first church building in Covina. On this corner where the Episcopal Church is today, there was a very small Episcopal Church that looked about like this one. That's, that's the Baptist Church there. It's, it was replaced in the 1950s, but that one was built about 1907. But what's in the corner? The Christian Church. And I can see the what the back wall and the north wall look like. So I was able to make that model. I thought it came out pretty well. Let's see. Let's go on down to the Southern Pacific tracks. Then out east of town there was a dairy, and the house that was at the dairy was Jessup's Dairy, Sol and Jessup. Pictures of the old uh, Viney Millican lumber yard. I said, yeah, I had one. It turns out that that's J.W. Whitlock, who's the father of uh, one of my classmates, Pauline Whitlock. Uh, here, of course, is what made Kavina grow. The pickers out in their orange groves. Off over here are some of the boxes. They bring out a load of box and the pickers all bring them all back to one particular row where they fill up boxes and the foreman marks their name on it and then the truck comes along and picks them all up. In the early days it was a wagon. The original owner was John Hauser. Hausers have a very interesting story in Covina which I'll tell you a little bit later on. 